This is episode one of Ames Animal Facts. Now this first episode will be on crows, requested by Ginger from Facebook. First I'll give you some quick background information about crows before we get to the 10 facts I find most interesting. There are at least 53 species of crows in the world. They are part of the family Corvidae. This family also includes ravens, jays, magpies, rooks, jackdaws, tree pies, nutcrackers, shows, not sure on the pronunciation of that, <laughs> and their uh, pia piak. There are seven species at least of crow that are listed as endangered, critically endangered, or that are already extinct in the wild, according to the IUCN Red List. These include the Flores crow, Hawaiian crow, Guam crow, Bangai crow, Seychelles crow, Biak three spot crow, and Ethiopian bush crow. Now it's time for my 10 interesting facts. Firstly, number one. The female incubates the four or five pale bluish green eggs for only 17 to 20 days, during which, which time she never leaves the nest, and the male, the partner, will return to feed her every single day. Number two. Molting takes at least 133 days. So over those days, they're losing their, their old feathers and getting new feathers. That's quite a lot of days. That's at least a third of the year that they're molting for. Number three. Crows are omnivorous, which means they will eat both meat and plants. Their diet usually consists of small invertebrates, like insects and things, fruits, seeds, occasional grains and small reptiles. There is, however, one crow the fish crow of the USA, that will actively seek out fish and small crustaceans to eat. No other crow will actually go fishing. So that crow is pretty special. Number four, all crows, not just some of them, but all of them, have a habit of collecting and hiding bright objects that they don't really have a purpose for. And yeah, they just collect them because they're pretty. So number five, for some reason, fledgling mortality is higher in crows than in other species of the genus Corvus, which means ravens and magpies and things, their children don't die as much as crow babies do. Crow babies just must be bad flyers. Number six, crows have unusually large brains for their size. It's actually almost the same size as a chimpanzee's brain. And look at the size of a raven. Look at the size of a chimpanzee. It's quite a bit of a size difference. And raven's brain's about the same size almost as the chimps. So what does that say about chimps? Number seven. Urban living carrion crows, which is crows that eat dead animals that live in places populated by people, have actually learned to use road traffic for getting food. They don't just feed off roadkill, say if you know a bird or something gets hit by a car, but they'll actually use the road to put nuts on that they're having a hard time cracking open and then wait for the cars to drive over them. They do this usually at traffic light crossings where cars will frequently stop and when the human pedestrians are crossing the road, the crows can see that it's safe and will collect their food. Number eight. Now I don't know how many of you know this, but crows can actually learn to speak words. And yeah, they can actually form short sentences, which can even be clearer than parrots. Everybody knows parrots can talk, you know, if you train them. But you don't often hear about crows talking, probably because crows aren't pets because Mm, they're not the friendliest of creatures sometimes. They can be a bit aggressive. Now, number nine. Both crows and primates use a combination of mental tools, including imagination and the anticipation of possible future events to solve similar problems. That means they're both good at figuring out puzzles. You know, if there's food behind a door or at the bottom of a container, they'll both figure out a way to get there. One may be faster than the other. I don't know. I haven't looked into that research. But they're just as intelligent 
as the great apes. Now number 10, it includes video. You'll get to see Betty, the crow. She's a New Caledonian crow. She's been in captivity and she learnt to bend a piece of straight wire into a hook to probe for food. This is a 2002 study by a scientist Castle Mix and not even chimps have ever managed to bend things to actually shape them into new tools. So crows are actually tool makers, not just tool users. So I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you found all those facts as interesting as I did. Hit the button if you liked it or if you learned something new. And remember, you too can learn more about an animal of your choice by just commenting below or on my Facebook. And until next time, 